Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to do some under the sink organization. I have been needing to tackle this for a while. As you guys can see the whole before, it is a complete disaster. Barely can find anything. Things were just really hard to access. So I knew I needed to clear out and do a whole declutter and organize. And if you follow me over on Instagram, you know I've been doing a seven day organization challenge. So today was actually the final day of it. And this was going to be tackling my largest task, which was under the sink. Five in the morning, all we do is fighting Thought you'd come and make it right I need a pause from the bed So for step one, as you've been seeing, I've just been doing a total emptying out of the under the sink. That's the first task you want to do is taking everything out and then giving it a good cleaning. I first wanted to vacuum it and then I was going ahead and taking some multi-purpose spray and spraying it all down. If you guys don't already know, I have a farmhouse sink, so it's really hard to find areas to be able to organize under here and fit because it is much smaller of a space than you would with a standard sink. Now moving on to step two, step two is going to be to measure out your space. So you always want to make sure you measure the depth, the height, the width to make sure that you're going to be purchasing the correct size organization bins. This is going to save you a lot of time and less trips going out to the store back and forth. And then also the doors if you plan on hanging anything on it, which I did of course. Then for step number three, you're going to want to subcategorize all the products and items that you're going to be placing under the sink. This way you know exactly what goes where and it just can kind of differentiate much easier. You're going to decant anything like that um, glass cleaner is a little bit too large to fit in smaller bins. So I put it in a smaller spray bottle. For the next step, you're going to want to place any of the organization bins that you either had or purchased and just kind of play around with different layouts to see how you're exactly going to be placing it in and if it works well before filling it. Our next step, now that we know that we have everything in the order that we'd like it in, you're going to start filling the bins or the um, organization drawers, anything that you have that you're going to be using to organize everything. So first I'm starting off with my cleaning tools. That's like dusters, little scrubbers, anything like that. The second drawer that I'm using is going to be for additional dish soap, things that I need to refill. As you guys can see, I did a lot of like double stacking. This way we can get the most out of our space. A lot of the items have like drawers. So this is why I needed to make sure where we were putting things and the things that I need to access the least, of course, are going in the back. Things that I access the most frequently are going to be right in the very front. But baby, don't you know, I will come around and let you know I'm always coming back. absolutely love these clear acrylic as you can see they're actually shoe organizers from the container store i'll go ahead and link everything that's linkable down in the description bar for those that are interested but i love that you can clearly see what's inside i am going to label but even if you didn't want to go through the hassle of that if you have clear items you can see exactly what you have there 
Then I got rid of this actual container because as you can see, this worked great in my other house, but under this sink, it is way too short for it. It was really hard to access any dishwasher tabs. So I put it in this glass jar, making it much easier. And then also to utilize the space of the doors, that's where I'm going to kind of keep my dishcloth. These I purchased recently on Amazon and I've been loving them. They're large and very affordable. And the final step is going to be to label everything. I have this handy dandy label maker that I use all the time throughout my house. Um, I am in the process of ordering like fancy vinyl script letter ones from Etsy, but those didn't come in time. So for now, I'm just going to be using this. It's very simple and easy. The other ones, honestly, they're a bit larger and it's more for aesthetic purposes, but these definitely do the job. This now completes my organizing a small under the sink area. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Be sure to thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future home and lifestyle videos. And I will talk to you in my next one. Bye. Ooh.